I'm going to be opening up my Dollar Tree haul. I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up so many cool, cool, cool stuff. Like Pickles always says, you don't need to spend a lot of money to have fun. So let's go ahead and open up our Dollar Tree stuff. So the first thing I got from my Dollar Tree is <gasps> this cute little fairy little butterfly doll. She is super cute. Look at that face. Look at those wings. Let's go ahead and open her up. Ooh, come on, people, get your stuff open. She's so cool because she has these cute little wings that fly, but she's like a fairy, flying like a butterfly. Ooh. Oh, Pickles, you're so silly. I'm glad you picked me up from the store. I was tired of sitting there all day. <laughs> I'm so glad I got you too. And I love the little sparkles on your dress. You are so, so pretty. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> It's time for you to go. <laughs> so the next thing I got was this really cute a Frozen Elsa art pack. As you guys can see, this is a painting display. So they're Disney Frozen and they're two sun catchers. So you have your sun catchers, your paintbrush, and your paint. Let's go ahead and open it up and see if we can paint some. So we're gonna open up some. See if we can get this open. Oh, come on, Elsa, come on out. Ah, I kind of ruined my picture, and you need this picture behind so you know what colors go where. So I'm going to try to open this a little bit more careful and just lift off the top. There we go. That way I can match up the colors that are supposed to be on my sun catcher with the actual sun catcher. So, let's see. So the colors I get are yellow. I get a tan, which I think this is for Elsa's hair. This is for Elsa's skin. And then I also got a little pinky red and a blue, which definitely are for her eyes. So as you can see from Elsa's picture, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fill in the areas that they have filled in. So let's sit them right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to paint Elsa's skin. I'm gonna use my little butterfly paper that I had earlier from the butterfly girl. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in here, get a little bit of paint, and now I'm going to paint Elsa's skin. Oh, Elsa, you look so beautiful. I just love this skin tone on you. <laughs> kind of looks like peach, doesn't it? So I'm trying to paint carefully, and I want to avoid getting it everywhere. Just want to paint it onto her. Oh, you've done a good job, Pickles. Why, thank you, little Pickles. I'm glad you think so. It's kind of tough to paint her. We're going to do the best we can. Na, 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 na. Spread this paint out. My paint's a little uneven. So I probably could use a little bit of water just to make it thinner and to get the paint on here a little bit better. Let's see if I can get it up here in this tiny little detail so you guys can get a better look at what I'm doing. So now we're going to get this our right here. And I'm going to do this little part. I got a little bit on her lip, but that's okay because I'm going to paint her lips pink. Oh, you look so beautiful, Elsa. Absolutely gorgeous, darling. Oh, guys, I was painting her and I wasn't even recording. I'm so sorry. Oh, but now I'm back. So let's finish painting Elsa's hair. I was doing all this painting of Elsa, and I forgot I wasn't recording. Oh, don't get mad at me, guys. I'm so sorry. At least I still have a lot more left, right? Right? Okay. All right, so I'm coloring her hair with this yellow, and I'm going to put a little yellow here. I missed a little bit of her forehead here and her ear there. So at the end, I'm going to touch her up with her flesh tone again, and that way she will be all painted in. So the next thing I'm going to paint is I'm going to use this blue to paint Elsa's eyes and I'm going to paint this little perimeter around her face. So here's my blue and I'm going to dip my paintbrush in here just a little bit because her eyes aren't that big and we don't want too much paint. We're just going to paint the little inside part of the eye. We don't want to paint the outside. So her eye here and her eye there. There we go. Now let's paint this perimeter blue. So I've got all her blue parts done. Now the next color I'm going to use is this pink right here. So let's open up our pink. Oh, come on, Pickles. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! Okay, I've got my pink open. I'm going to dip my paintbrush in here. So like in the picture, I'm going to paint the perimeter all pink, and then I'm going to paint her lips pink. Right, so I'm going to start painting pink all around the edges here. And it doesn't matter if I get it on the black. 
because when it dries, the black will still show through. I like coloring what's in the lines. Oh, did I miss blue too? Guys, I'm missing all kinds of little nooks and crannies of color. That's okay, I can touch it all up. It's not too late. Even if you mess up, you can go back and try. Sorry guys, Pickles isn't perfect. I mess up on videos like constantly, everyone will tell you. Cause sometimes I don't know the names of stuff. I put things in the wrong place. You know, some people are professional and some people are a pickle. And I'm definitely a pickle. This pink is super pretty. This is like the perfect shade of pink. It's like, it's not too light. It's not too neon. It's like that perfect, perfect pink that everyone wants. Like this would be a gorgeous lipstick. You think I should put it on his lipstick, right? Right, okay, don't put on Panda's lipstick, you're right. I totally shouldn't wear this as lipstick because it would be like disgusting and you shouldn't paint your lips. That would be like toxic and harmful and then I could like, you know, you know, choke or something. I don't know, are my lips like blow up really big like a blowfish? Would that be hilarious? Ooh, pickles. All right, and I'm not gonna miss this little pink part at the top. I know you guys are thinking, Pickles, you're gonna miss something. No, I am now totally professional. I'm gonna paint this pink up here, this little hole. Ooh, the thing, it's, it's a tight corner. I can't reach, can't. Okay, that's gonna be good enough because I don't wanna mess up her hair. All right, let's do this. All right, so now that we have everything pretty much painted, let's go ahead and touch up the areas that uh, Pickles left out. So, starting with the first color that I left out, let's go ahead and do her flesh tone and fix her skin. So, here we go. I'm gonna take this flesh tone here and I'm gonna touch her up in the areas I forgot. So, the first little area is right here on her forehead. I left that out and I left her ear out. Let's go ahead and touch up her ear. And I think that's all her skin. So, the only other thing I have left to touch up, I need to put blue right there. I only need a tiny bit of blue because that area is so little and if you use too much paint it's going to be all over the place. So let's see, I'm going to try to sneak some blue in here without getting Elsa's hair all messed up. This is pretty tough guys, do you think you could paint this little tiny area? It's pretty hard. And there you have it, my beautiful sun catcher. And it came with this string. So what I'm gonna do is, I am not gonna paint the other one. I'm gonna put the string in this one. There we go. I have my string through. And now I'm just gonna tie up the end. Ah, I got paint on my hand. You see that, you see that? Paint all over my hand. Oh, that's all right. You can get a little messy when you paint. Just try not to stain your clothes or something because that would be a disaster piece because Pickles has somewhere to go after this. Cause you know, I live a fabulous life. I just don't stay at home all day talking to myself. So look at my final sun catcher, guys. It's beautiful. Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? Do you love it? I love it. So the next thing I got from the Dollar Tree is this super, super cute. Ah, come on out, little guy. Is I got this cute little stretchy frog. Woo! He is super adorable. Wait a second. Did I get a frog with an arm missing? Hey! I've been cheated, guys. My froggy only has one arm. Oh, some kid must have pulled it off in the store. But anyway, here he is. He looks super, super cute and squishy. What's so cute about this frog is you can see inside his little mouth. He is adorable. So I definitely am gonna cut him up in another squishy video. Actually, you know what? I might as well cut him now because he's already cut. Mm, let's see. Let's see. And, oh, there we go. Bye-bye, arm. And I think this froggy's legs are so cute, but he definitely needs them cut off. So, of course I wouldn't cut a real frog because that would be totally, totally cruel and inappropriate, but you can cut the toy frog, only with your parents' permission. Are you guys using scissors? Don't use scissors, you're not allowed to. Oh, look at that. Oh, he kind of looks like a frogfish. Lady, you are officially nuts. Oh, thank you. What a great compliment. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to cut the rest of you. All right. Let's see, let's see if anything comes out your little butt. Let's cut the froggy's butt. Who's ready to cut froggy butt? Let's see. Oh! Lots of bees come out! Look at that! Oh, Mr. Froggy! Let's see what's inside. I can't see. I think I should cut open the rest of this little guy. So let's cut, 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 cut. Ooh, he still has beads falling out. And look at the inside. There's his plug, and there's his little... Oh, he looks adorable. He looks like one of those, like, um, those dinosaurs. Those, like, the, you know, the flap comes out like that? <sighs> he totally looks like that. 
Oh, with the mouth open? Oh my goodness. This definitely, that definitely was his ancestor. Cause look. <sighs> hey, who are you talking to with those lips? Huh? 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 You want your lips cut? Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, it's official. I destroyed my phone. The next thing I got from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna show you guys is this really cool mermaid doll. She kind of looks like a mermaid Barbie. like a real mermaid. I mean, could you see a real mermaid moving like this? I think they swim like that. Totally believable. And she's really, really pretty. Look at her makeup. I love her eyeshadow and her lipstick and her cute little bikini with the little with the little purple part and this really pretty green swimming thing. So I'm gonna take the brush and brush her ponytail down. In fact, why don't we take her hair out of the ponytail and let's go ahead and brush her hair. Oh, she looks gorgeous. Let's brush your hair down. It's kind of just sitting up in the air. So you know what? We probably want to leave it in a ponytail because that looks a little crazy. Hey, lady, put my hair back in the ponytail. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Oh, Pickles, you're always making a mess. Oh, get it together, Pickles. <laughs> Thanks, Pickles. <laughs> so I got a pool all set up for our mermaid, and she's going to oh, splash on it. She's swimming. Let's see if we can get her to swim like she did before. Ooh, she's swimming. Oh, this is such a relaxing time. Oh, and she's swimming and she's enjoying herself. Oh, do you like my pool, little mermaid? I absolutely love your pool. Oh, so much more relaxing than swimming in the ocean. I have to work so hard there. Oh, I'm so glad you like it because I love having mermaids over. Hey, you think you can go get me like a cool beverage? some lemonade? Hey, what do you think I am? Well, you do work here, don't you? Oh, jeez. Next up from the Dollar Tree, I got this really cool gumball machine, guys. Can you believe the Dollar Tree has a gumball machine? It has a little hole in everything. So let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Oh, I can't wait to put the gumballs in here. Look at this bright sunny color. It really, really totally matches our little butterfly fairy. So I think I have to take the top off here. There we go. Hello? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Okay, it's not me you're looking for. No, it doesn't come with gumballs, but guys, I have some extra gumballs laying around. So let's go ahead and pour those in. So I've got it all set up, so let's go ahead and pour it all. Oh. Pickles, don't spill them. They'll be all crazy and all over the place if you do. All right, there we go. We're starting to get them in. Oh, I'm already spilling, guys. I'm already spilling. Oh, pickles. Do you have to spill? Oh, they're just going everywhere, guys. Okay, we're going to have to clean this up. So we're getting as many as we can. Lots and lots of gumbo. All right, you guys. Just... Oh, pickles. Really pickles. All right, so let me clean up all my stray gumballs. Here's a gumball, there a gumball, everywhere a gumball, gumball, ah! All right, a few more gumballs. And look guys, I totally dropped three purple gumballs and one green one. So let's put those all in there. All right, I'm gonna screw my top back on. There we go. And now it's time to see if we get some candy to come out. Do you guys think it's gonna work? Is it gonna work? Tell me, is it gonna work? Okay, you don't know. All right, here we go. Super 
super, super cute squishy shark. So guys, they had a whole squishy section, and not only did I get a squishy shark, I got a squishy lizard and a squishy spider, but I'm totally not gonna cut these in this video. I'm gonna save those for one of Pickle's, you know, squishy openings, and look at that. Oh, make sure you guys look out for that video. So the last thing I got was this super cute bubble machine. It's a little well bubble machine, guys. We'll go ahead and open our box. Take a look. <gasps> Is he not the most adorable little thing in the world? Oh, wait, he got a little broken. Okay, let's close him back up. But I think he looks super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to have to put batteries inside and then I'm gonna put some bubble mix and let's see what we get. Mmm, he looks tasty. Hey, Mr. Shark, you can't eat my little well bubble uh, machine. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh. We go. Oh, and look, it sticks like a magnet. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop it open. There we go. And I need three AA batteries. Got the battery pack right here. Let's pop this open and take out three. One, two, three batteries. Now I'm gonna pop one and two and three. There we go. Whoa, it's glowing. Uh oh, Mary Pickles, you gotta put the top back. It's already blowing! Is there an on-off button for this thing? I don't think so. I think it just keeps going no matter what. Oh, pickles! What did I do? What did I do? Oh, oh, we gotta work, little pickles. Oh, we're gonna miss all our bubble action if we don't hurry up. Oh, get in there, battery. Get in there. Get in there. Now that that's all done, let's go ahead and pour in our bubble. Now I've got my bubble mix here. Let's pour it in. Ah! The bubbles are hitting me already, guys! So look at all the bubbles it's making. Is this the cutest bubble maker you've ever seen in your 